Hi guys, Paul here for Cycle Freak TV. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fit the Shimano SPD type cleat. It's the two bolt cleat, so all you're going to need is obviously your shoes, the cleats, you're going to need an Allen key and some grease for the bolts as well. So we just open up this packet. So as you see what you get in the packet, you get your cleat itself which is here, you get this spacer which sits inside the cleat and then you obviously get your two bolts that sit inside the cleat like that. So that's the way you should have it. One thing that you need to make sure of is that with this spacer here, it has got, I don't know if you could pick that up, a slightly beveled edge just on the top. So this needs to face upwards or outwards. The other side is just flat. There's no bevel. So obviously the idea of the bevel is that the bolt will pretty much sit flush when it's tightened down. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is just put a little bit of grease onto the bolts. Because obviously metal on metal, you just need to make sure you grease them up a little bit. That's the first one. Just do the second one. Okay, that's the second one. Just wipe the fingers off. Okay, so here's the shoe. So basically that's the shoe here. So all I'm gonna do, you've got two. I'm gonna go for the, the top one. Uh, this can be a little bit fiddly sometimes so you know you've got this the right way around you can see that this has got a like a serrated edge that's what grips the actual shoe itself so let me try and do it this way so it's easier for you to see what i'm doing so that goes that way then you want to stick the face the spacer on the top it's probably better if i do that first there we go so put that on there Try and line it up, and then you want to get your bolts. Try and finger thread it first if you can. As I say, it is a little bit on the tricky side, but you want to try and finger thread it in there first to get the second one. As you can see, I'll show you in a minute, there is some play there as well that you can play around with. Let me just try and do it with the Allen key. There you go. So the main thing is that you don't want to cross thread it. So if it doesn't feel like it's going in, just back off and go back in again. And so you want to do a little bit on each side. Oops, it's not helping that my fingers are still feeling a little bit greasy. So the same again. You can see you can move it up and down, side to side. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna back this one out because it doesn't feel like it's going in cleanly. That's better. So a bit on one side, a bit on the other side, and then try and just keep everything sort of central. A bit on that one. Bit on that side. Don't want to over tighten on one side more than the other. So once you've pretty much got it central, then you can sort of tighten it down a bit more. I'm just going to wipe my fingers off because I'm slipping a little bit there. Okay, that's better. Go back again, just the last little bit now, just to make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want it to move. And then obviously, once you've got this far, you can try it in the shoe. And if you need to make any fine adjustments, then by all means, you can do. Probably a little bit more. A 
Okay, so there you can see now the cleat is fitted. And if I just try and get it on a level, you can just see that it fits just below the tread of the shoe. So that means that walking around, you're not going to be actually on the cleat itself. You can get covers for the cleats, same as the road shoe, a rubber cleat that will clip over this for protection if you find that your grip's wearing down a bit. So that's not a problem, you can protect this cleat. So it's going to be the same process with the other shoe. And obviously what you're going to want to do is size up the shoe, try and take some sort of marking points with the original shoe. So maybe you can look at something with the tread and where that lines up with a point on the cleat uh, just to get yourself sort of central. And then next stage would be clipping into the actual pedal itself and adjusting the tension. I'll do a video on that as well, so make sure you keep your eyes out for that one. So that's the end of this video, how to fit a Shimano or a two bolt cleat onto your SPD shoe. Any comments or questions, please leave them for me down below. Make sure if you like the video, please give me that thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.